I just don't feel comfortable. Why wouldn't you feel comfortable? Almost every single person has told me they like the way I sounded, but that they didn't like the way I look. I think you're beautiful. A Star Is Born is directed and stars Bradley Cooper is alongside Lady Gaga. Now A Star Is Born is a remake of a remake of a remake and it's basically this is aging you know, singer played by Bradley Cooper who goes to a bar one night and ends up seeing Lady Gaga sing except she's not Lady Gaga, she's a different character, right? Because we all know Lady Gaga, she's great. And he sees her sing, he gets enamored by her performance. He brings her on tour so she can sing and she ends up getting famous. And it's sort of like, oh, how is this couple going to deal when both of them are famous? How are they going to deal with this level, high level of fame? And it, you know, it's just your, you've seen this story a number of times before, except this time it's directed by Bradley Cooper and it's incredibly well executed. Let's start with the pros as usual. Lady Gaga, she will 100% this year be getting an Oscar nomination for a role in this film. She is absolutely fantastic. I don't know whether you put her in lead actress or supporting actress, but she will get a nomination either way because she is show-stopping. She steals every scene she's in away from Bradley Cooper, away from the supporting class. class not alone with her singing, but just with her performance. She is fantastic. Everything about her character is just innately intriguing and I absolutely love the character for it. And at this point, as long as she's not going up against Claire Foy, she'll be getting, an, I reckon she might get a win. Which I think would be really great for this movie. It, it's definitely my favorite female performance of the year. It beats, beats Claire Foy. Bradley Cooper, not, uh, let's not get distracted by like Lady Gaga. Bradley Cooper is firing on all cylinders here. He is absolutely terrific. He's, he gives this sort of harshness. You'd also like um, some sort of underbelly of goodness and good intent to him. And it, it, you know, it's this harshness, harshness mixed with this vulnerability that makes him such a fantastic character, makes it such a fantastic performance. And I reckon this year, Bradley Cooper might just get an Oscar win. You know, because he he's got four Oscar nominations to his name. And this year, I reckon he'll be nominated for you know, at most, at least two, potentially I would say a third if he gets nominated for Best Picture. Because I reckon he will get a nom for Best Lead Actor and he may get a nom for Best Director because he does, at this point, he's sort of near the Leonardo DiCaprio stage except no one's paying enough attention to it. His direction is also incredibly powerful and he does a precise job on the film as well. He is fantastic throughout the film. The cinematography is terrific. It is absolutely beautiful throughout. And every shot just, you know, to the eye, it is gorgeous. This is the movie where you know we're in Oscar season now. This is the season where we're gonna get all those great films. Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm trying to think of another one, but I can't at the moment. I, there, there is just so much coming out. The, it is, the music will win best original song. Hands down, I cannot name another movie out right now. Uh, this year that will beat like original song. Black Panther might get the nomination with Kendrick Lamar but I swear to God A Star Is Born will be getting the Oscar win and I feel like the most important note that's hit on in a lot of reviews a lot of people's comments about A Star Is Born is that it's emotional and I'm not going to sit here and say that I cried throughout the movie because quite frankly I didn't. I didn't even shed a tear but when the movie cuts to black and you just hear a wave of sniffles go across the, like the audience. You just know at that point, this movie is emotional for a lot of people. It wasn't emotional for me, but if I can hear sniffles from a bunch of people throughout the movie, I can tell you that it's gonna be an emotional ride for some. It will hit some sen sen sensitive places in some people, for others maybe not, but for a lot of people from what I've heard, emotional ride. And if I have one small negative about A Star Is Born, I would say this, is that it does feel a little bit slow at times, and that's not to say that, oh, it's a slow burn or it's boring, it's just that it's a little bit slower paced than what I would originally have thought. It's already a long movie, but every scene that goes on screen has a point to it, and it's important that the audience sees that scene, and that is masterful film filmmaking. So I would say that A Star Is Born, I'll buy it on DVD. Have you seen A Star Is Born? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe, comment on the part of pie, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Well done, you made it to the end of the video. Why don't you click on one of these two videos for more content or subscribe to so just be reminded of when I upload. So you know, subscribe. That'd be great.